हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक दिस क्वेश्चन इज आल्सो फ्रॉम गेट 2004 एग्जाम इट्स फॉर टू मार्क्स जस्ट हैव अ लुक एट द स्टेटमेंट इट सेज कंसीडर अ पैरिटी चेक कोड विथ थ्री डेटा बिट्स एंड फोर पैरिटी चेक बिट्स थ्री ऑफ द कोड वर्ड्स आर गिवन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर ऑल्सो कोड वर्ड्स यू कैन सी दे हैव गिवन यू फोर मोर कोड वर्ड्स ऑल्सो यू हैव फोर ऑप्शन सो दिस क्वेश्चन कैन बी सॉल्व इन मल्टीपल वेज I am going to discuss two of them. The first method says determine where are the three data bits. So in such questions, data bits and parity bits will always be separate. That means data bits will either be in the starting or they will be in the ending. Now, just to save time, I am telling you that these three data bits are in the starting. That means first bit, let us name it as data bit one, then D two. then d3 and then you have four parity bits let's call them p4 p5 p6 and p7 okay now we need to determine this parity bit p4 represents parity of what all bits similarly what does this p5 p6 and p7 represent so for that let us see what is the data for all of these three patterns for first pattern data is 010 then it is 100 then it is 111 now if we determine parity of these three bits it will be 1 then parity of these three bits will again be 1 here also because you have odd number of ones the parity will be 1 Now just check which of these four bits is one 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 for all of the three patterns. So it can be noticed that P seven is one one and one. So P seven represents the parity of D one D two D three. Okay, I am writing it here. This represents parity of D one, D two, and D three. Okay. Similarly, now we can take two of them at a time. So parity of these two will be one, D one and D two. Here also parity will be one. Here the parity will be zero. So just check which column has one one zero. So in these three columns in the given patterns, just see where do we have one one zero. It is one one zero. Have a look. That means. P4 represents the parity of D1 D2. Okay. Similarly, you can determine P5 and P6. So P5 is going to represent the parity of D1 and D3. So I'm writing it here. P5 represents parity of D1 D3. and uh, p6 is going to represent d2 d3 parity so it is d2 and d3 now the question is very simple we just need to analyze each of these four options one by one according to these formulas so first one says the data bits are 001 it is 001 let us see what will be p4 in this case P4 is parity of D1 and D2. It is zero. Then parity of D1 and D3 will be one. Parity of D2 and D3 will also be one. And the parity of all of the three data bits is also one. That means this is a valid code word. So you can see it exactly matches. So this is valid. Similarly, second option says zero double one is the data. Okay. Now parity of first two bits. it is going to be zero sorry it is one okay parity of first and third bit it is also one parity of second and third bit is zero and overall parity of these three bits is zero so we need to have 1100 1100 zero, zero. it is not present so this one is not valid similarly let us check the third and fourth option So one zero one. This is okay. 
दिस इज ऑल्सो ओके या दिस इज अक्सेप्टेड दिस इज अ वैलिड कोड वर्ड यू कैन जस्ट एनालाइज इट इन द सिमिलर वे एंड यू विल रियलाइज दैट फॉर वन जीरो वन द पैरिटी बिट्स आर वन जीरो वन जीरो फॉर दिस ऑप्शन फॉर जीरो डबल वन वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन दैट पैरिटी बिट्स फॉर जीरो डबल वन आर वन वन जीरो जीरो सो दिस वन इज ऑल्सो इन करेक्ट ओके आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज वन एंड थ्री वन एंड थ्री आर वैलिड कोड वर्ड्स नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस द मैथड टू सपोज यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू डू ऑल ऑफ दिस एनालिसिस बिकॉज देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ हिट एंड ट्रायल इन दिस मैथड सो इट्स टाइम टेकिंग सपोज यू हैवेंट जस्ट डन दिस एनालिसिस यू डोंट नो वेयर आर द डेटा बिट्स एंड वेयर आर द पैरिटी बिट्स देर इज वन इजी मैथड ऑल्सो यू जस्ट टेक एक्सोर ऑफ टू वैलिड कोड वर्ड्स and whatever you get will also be a valid code word for example let's perform xor of these two whatever will be the result has to be a valid code word okay so have a look i have performed xor of these two here then xor of these two here and xor of first and third here that means this one this one and this one will be a valid code word let's see if we can accept some options so 1011 that means this 1011010 so you can see this is a valid code word and option 3 matches so option 3 is valid because xor of first and third gives you this only okay so we have determined option 3 is valid similarly now you can perform xor of these two and then these two and further just keep on taking xor of valid code words you will get this pattern also okay let's see how can we get this so this pattern begins with double zero that means first two bits must be same here you can see this one and this one this is a valid code word this is also a valid code word both of them have first two bits same that means xor will be 0 0 then xor will be 1 then it will be 0 then double 1 1 so yeah you will get this pattern if you perform xor of this one and this one okay so this one is also valid now second and fourth one you won't ever get them as xor of two valid code words so they can be rejected now sometimes students also say that hamming distance between valid code words is constant so hamming distance between these two is 4 here also hamming distance is 4 between these two also hamming distance is 4 then they say just calculate hamming distance for each one of them from this one this one and this one it must be 4 in specifically this question the hamming distance comes out to be 4 but it's not always the case two valid code words can have different hamming distances also so this method i am not very convinced for this method now that method of performing xors of two valid code words never guarantees that you will get the answer because see you can always declare that both of these are correct but you can never very surely declare that this one and this one can be rejected because you will get to know only about the valid code words you are not able to reject the options some of you might think that this is xor that we are getting that means this one is a valid code word hence for data bits 011 the parity must be 1100 that means this one can be rejected also this one can be rejected because for data bits 011 the parity must be 1100 so we are not having 1100 here and 1100 here as well so both of them are incorrect but you cannot do so because you don't know where are the data bits and where are the parity bits this one is a separate method so we are not very sure that if these three are data bits and these three are parity bits in the method of performing xors okay so you cannot reject the options you can only reject uh, accept them okay